Hi Sagittarius, welcome to Anti Tarot. Today we're going to do your love reading for June 2021. Congratulations to you guys. You guys came in first again for the most viewed video last month. So as a result, I am doing your reading first for this month again. So congratulations and thank you very much for all your likes, share, subscribe. I greatly appreciate you guys helping me grow my channel. So I'm pulling these oracle cards first to get a feel for the energy. And as you can see, these two cards flipped over. We have beauty and delight. And as I was talking when I first started the video, the card that kind of fell out was pleasure. So it looks like it's a um, nice month for you guys with um, beautiful positive energy, beauty, delight pleasure bottom of the deck we have compassion top we have focus all right so let's see how those energies will tie in um with our reading so now we're gonna pull from the tarot cards so i call on all my guys angels senate masters to help me be a clear channel for the sagittarius collective who will be watching so we're going to pull a card for the situation, then their head space, heart space, challenge or problem, issue, obstacle, advice from spirit, and then final outcome. Okay. So that's interesting because this card fell out in the pre-shuffle. So we have six of swords. That's the current situation. Five of Swords. I'm going to put that as their head space. Seven of Swords as their heart space. All right. And then we'll pull three more cards for the challenge, advice, and then the outcome. There's too many. Let me put it back. Okay. Current challenge. This card feel like it wants to come out. Knight of Pentacles. Advice from Spirit. Guys, angels, what's your advice for a Sagittarius person? Advice. Can we get a card for advice? A card for advice, please. Nine of Swords. King of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Ace of Wands. That's too many, but I'll just put it there behind and we'll see. And then final outcome, Spirit, this card is sticking out. Okay, the Hangman. All right. Bottom of the deck, Queen of Pentacles, Wise Woman. Top of the deck, we have Nine of Pentacles, Abundant Security. All right, so the current situation right now, we have Six of Swords, and it's saying Analysis Logic. So um, currently someone is analyzing the situation, maybe being in their mind, trying to think logically or apply logic to the situation. But Six of Swords traditionally is, you know, people on a boat moving away from chaos or destructive energy. Um, in this deck, the wording is a little bit different since we're using this deck, you know, I'm going to use this, their keywords, but keep that in mind. So somebody may want to be moving away from chaos and they're um, sitting back and analyzing the situation and maybe trying to be less emotional and to be a little bit more logical. Okay, so that's the current situation. Now I'm going to read from your person's perspective, but the roles could be reversed. So if it resonates with you and applies towards you, take it how it resonates. This is the position for their headspace, Five of Swords, Discussion, Persuasion. So in their headspace, they're thinking they want to have a discussion, have a talk, and maybe persuade you or someone to their way of thinking. 
because right now the situation is about analyzing the situation, analyzing the relationship, maybe taking a step back, being a little bit more logical in the head, you know, more logical, practical, and a little less emotional. And in their head, they're thinking they need to have a discussion and maybe talk about it logically and um, perhaps persuade someone or you to their way of thinking or their idea or what they're thinking. In their heart space, we have mediator resolution. So in their heart space, they're feeling they want a resolution. They want to resolve whatever this conflict is, whatever the situation is, or be, be a mediator for you or the other person or who, whoever, or whatever the conflict is. So they're thinking in their heart, they're feeling they, they want to resolve it. Okay. Now there, what's uh, their issue right now? The obstacle right now is moving forward, planning wisdom and, and moving. So they're having difficulty moving forward with whatever it is that they want to move forward with. So let's clarify with these oracle cards. Spirit guides, angels, please clarify this Knight of Pentacles. All right. That's funny. So these flip through, but then this is disconnected. So I got disconnected, and I have outcasts, and I have timing. So their obstacle right now is moving forward, perhaps, with the relationship or with the idea, or move, just moving forward is, is a problem for them because the timing may not be right right now. It's bad timing. And they're... Okay, so we have outcast, bully, persecute it, reject it, and disconnect it, avoiding withdrawing emotionally, unavailable. Okay, so they're having... Their obstacle is... They're having a hard time moving forward because of timing issue, and they're also feeling kind of pressured bully in a way to move forward so they're being um so they're avoiding the situation they're being withdrawn emotionally unavailable and disconnected so that's their issue right now their obstacle is moving forward and the reason being is because it's a timing issue and they don't want to feel pressure to move forward yet all right so, Spirit's advice to them. So, Nine of Swords. They're going through stress. Perhaps having difficulty sleeping. Sleep is night. King of Pentacle businessmen. So, you may be dealing with a business person. Uh, three of Cups. Marriage, commitment, and then passion. So, Spirit's advice to them is to follow their heart. Follow their passion. Follow what makes them happy. And commit. Commit to what makes them happy. I'm looking at this because we have torture, inner torture addiction. And then we have all these... Nice car. So I think this is what they're doing to themselves right now. Being stressed. And perhaps not being able to make a decision. Inner torture. And so Spirit is saying. To make a commitment to their happiness and their passion. To trust their heart. In regards to finances. Or stability to overcome the stress. But I'm going to pull clarifier cards. 
just to get a little clarity. Spirit guys, angels, can we get a clarify card for this advice for a Sagittarius person? Clarifier card for the Nine of Swords, please. The moon, the lover. Yeah, so they have some inner conflicts in regards to love and in, in regards to having to make a decision. So in regards to, we have the chariot, in regards to moving forward. So spirit advice is telling them to trust their heart their passion and make a commitment to their heart because there's something that they may be hiding from you or not sharing with you that you can't see in regards to love they're being indecisive they can't they're conflicted conflicted somehow so i don't know if there's another person involved or if it's between love and business or love in their life or lifestyle, but they're conflicted in regards to something that you can't see. And that's why they're having difficulty sleeping and anxiety and spirit is telling them to follow their heart, their passion. Final outcome is the hangman. So right for right now, at least for the month of June, there will be no action because they're at a standstill right now. So you guys may need to be patient because they're at a standstill right now. They're stuck. They're stuck. There's no movement. They're not going to make any movement or any decision right now because they're looking at things. They're, they're trying to look at things. So you may need to give them a little bit of time. Now I'm looking at these cards to see how this ties back. It says, beauty, I am deeply and profoundly beautiful. So this may be um, an advice card for them because remember they were feeling like an outcast. They were feeling like an outcast and disconnected. So this may, may uh, and these are affirmations. I am deep. I am deeply and profoundly beautiful. So this may be they need to give themselves some self-love and then delight. I delight in everything in my world and divine joy fills me. Yeah, because they're feeling disconnected and then there's these two birds. So it sounds like they need to work on themselves a little bit. So they need some time to work on themselves because for whatever reason, they're not uh, there's a self-loathing I'm picking up and they're not loving themselves because because of rejection, feeling like an outcast, feeling persecuted. They are totally disconnected. So there's no movements. All right. So let's pull final advice cards from these Oracle decks. Can we get an advice card for Sagittarius or their person for June? Mistakes. If you feel you have made a mistake or indeed someone else has done so with impact on you, Please do not feel bad about this. Treasure and value your mistakes and those of others around you. They are the cutting edge of our personal growth and evolution. Lean into the learning and celebrate your openness to grow. Okay. So I'm getting a sense that something happened. Someone blew up or some kind of destruction or chaos or argument or big blow up. And that's why the situation is about thinking and analyzing and being logical and not so emotional. And then having a discussion and finding a resolution. But then being 
stuck and moving forward because of all these feelings and also timing and so the outcome is being stuck but someone may or maybe both of you may be feeling perhaps maybe regrets over mistakes you know that were made The next card, the card on top is empower yourself. So basically, Spirit's saying mistakes is part of growing. And so if you learn from your mistake, and you can both grow from your mistake and empower yourself from mistake, then you can overcome that mistake. Let me use my surrender cards to see. Surrender to passion. That just fell out. I hardly shuffled. Can we get one more card, one more message as to what they need to release or surrender at this time? Um, this may be for them because um, they seem to be holding back. Yeah, it says get out of your head. And feel the fire in your belly. Focus on the people or activities that ignite your passion and let it flow. Yeah, because remember we talked about being in the head. Being in the head, being logical and reasonable. And yeah, so your person may be in their head too much and not following their heart. And that's why the advice from spirit to them is open their heart, follow their heart, follow their passion. Because it... I feel like your person may be in their mind too much and they need to be in their heart more and trust their heart more. Yeah, bottom of the deck is surrender to ego. Surrender ego. All right. Any other messages for Sagittarius person? Because I feel like those two are messages for them. Was it this one? Surrender stubbornness. Yeah, someone is totally in their head. Totally in their head, in their mind. Coming from ego and stubbornness. Alright, any messages for Sagittarius? Surrender to the wisdom of your body. So, yeah, so Spirit's saying to trust yourself. Like, because there's nothing you can do right now. They just need some time to think things through. Because they're kind of upside down right now. And they're not moving. They're not moving. All right, Sagittarius, I'm going to leave it there. So it looks like no major movement for you guys in um, June, if this resonates, because your person may be stuck right now in their head, in their mind. So hopefully um, after this time period of analysis and analyzing, hopefully they can move forward after this. But it doesn't look like there's going to be too much action or too much movement um, for you guys for June and love all right i hope that resonated and it was helpful and useful to you guys let me know in the comments if it was love and light to you wishing you all the best and i will catch you in the next video bye